gone massive. Then it's disappeared out the ground, over the side screen, and into the forest. What a shot there by Gerald Pike. Picked it up early. And that's a massive six. They do the basics so well. Great shot there by Jean-Andre, his first boundary of the innings. So Hiren Varaya to continue. Great first over, just two runs off it. Massive shot there, Gerald Pike smashing it over the bowler's head. Few bounces into the side screen. This is the over, I reckon. Gerald Park's gonna go big yet. Yeah. It's been a tidy over this year for Kenya. Massive shot there, as expected. Gerald Park has dispatched it over corner for a massive maximum unbelievable scenes here at the Simba Union To continue, right on medium, Gerald Pike on strike. Down the wicket, slapped away into the gap, a few bounces into the bank. Another boundary there for Gerald Pike. Great shot that. Uh. Short, helped on its way, there's no one at fine leg, so that's four more. Gerald Park moves to 46. So JD Arnold off the mark with two. Shot down the ground, no one there at long on, too wide, a run away for four. Nice shot there by JD Arlenov, he opens his boundary account. So, ten of... South Africans, South Africa, one of the favourites for this tournament title, along with Bangladesh. Coffin for second delivery. Cut out into the gap, beautiful shot there. Three points, cover can't get round to it. JG Adendorf moves on to 12 runs from seven deliveries with that boundary. Ninety for none after 11.3 overs. Let's just watch the cost delivery here and then have a look at the Bangladesh rest of the world game. Well hit, out to cover, beautiful batting, long off, can't get round there. There had been an adjustment in the field with the cover fielder coming round, more to points, cut off the previous boundary, but Andorf was up to it. 
So the rest of the world will be four points behind them going into their massive clash tomorrow. With the net run rate swing, that could mean that a narrow loss for England could still see them through. Oh, that's shorter and it's gone high in the air, but a cough, seeing it comes round and takes it safely. Excellent hands in the deep there by Martin Akoff. Bowler Wasonga, an old teammate of Akoff for many years. There's none for 17, the former Kenya captain, the current Kenya LMS captain. Played almost 90 games for Kenya here in Varaa, vast amount of experience, comes in. Flattish ball, but this good slog sweep. Has he found the gap? He has through square leg. He was in position early there, Adendorf, and this is turning into an excellent innings as he moves the score onwards to 35 off 18 for himself and 118 for South Africa. Is the man back on to bowl. He's gone for 24 runs from his three overs. Current run rate, bang on eight. 120 for one after 15 overs. Hiran Varar moving the field around for AJ Harani. So we've got a wide third man on the 45. A deep cover point fielder. Just watch this delivery straight through and that's a big appeal. And he's nodded. The batsman's effectively walked, but he did wait for the nod. Lovely delivery there from AJ Harani. Well taken by the keeper, Shubham Jadav. Safe gloves there. Second wicket down for South Africa. 120 cut set down to one. Good work here from the Kenyans. They've been excellent these last three to four overs. They'll be hoping that they can keep this pressure on until the end of the innings. Score now 132 for two. Good play from the Kenyans. Wasonga coming in against the South African captain, Dan Poulton. Beautifully played off his legs, just drifts down the leg side. And that's the first boundary that we've seen in a while. Bit of relief of uh, release of the pressure valve there for the South Africa. They needed that for. Wasonga drifted too much down the leg side. 11 balls left in this inning. Score 136. At one stage we were thinking South Africa could be on for around 180 when they had all the wickets in hand and were around 90 at the turn. Kenya have done well in this second set. Slightly short, that's going to be six runs right over the long on fielder. He really got hold of that. Dan Poulton on the charge now. So a disappointing end to an excellent spell for Dominic Wasonga. Until those last two deliveries, you know, deep extra cover, a straight long off, a wide long on and a deep square leg. A cough in his last over, 2.1 overs, none for 26 for him so far. Can he keep it outside the off stump? Slower ball. Has he got hold of that? He has. Is that going to go over here in Varaa's head? It does. Wasn't quite back on the boundary there here in Varaa. I'm not sure if that was tactical, but if he'd been on the boundary, there could have been a chance there. But he was in about 10 yards. Dan Poulton with his second six moves on to 22 off eight. Slashed away, into the gap, went like a tracer bullet into the point boundary. What a shot there by Shabam Jadaf. Brian Ellis just missing his length. Pike set up the South African innings with 50 from 27 balls. JG Edendorf, 47 from 31, not out. And then the late assault by Dan Poulton, 30 off 13, boosted the South African total late up to 161. Great ramp shot there, flying down to the fine leg boundary. Well played by Shubham Jadav. He moves on to 19 off 11 balls. Clever shot there. 
and we've seen the pace also of Sheldon Mungru, one of the Mungru, one of the quicker bowlers in this tournament. And over also so far for Lasego, Coco Labana. Ellis, two balls left in his over. We've got a straight long off, a long on, a deepish square leg. And on the offside, they're playing the power play with a wide third man, a deep point and a deep cover. Ellis comes in. On the offside, it goes in the air. That could be a chance. South Africans come in and they take the catch excellently. A big, big wicket. And they've got a double play. Unbelievable. Absolute hammer blow for the Kenyans. Prasrant Srinivas was ball watching there in the middle of the field. They're not used to the double play rule. Min Patel. He knows that he's got to uh, got to start increasing his strike rate here. He needs a boundary from somewhere. You can sense that with that shot. Trying to target that mid-wicket boundary. What's he going to do here? Brian Ellison for second delivery of his last over. Outside off stump, another dot ball. Excellent stumping there. Very quick hands. Unbelievable stuff from the wicket keeper. Up to the pace bowler. Just slightly out of his crease, Jamin Patel by Samath Patel. Kenya could ill afford Samath Patel getting out anytime soon. They need him to become the set batsman. Having lost both their openers, the talismanic openers, to a double play. Screws off, the fielder comes round, takes it down. That's a big, big wicket there. Samath Patel knowing that he had to hit a few big shots, couldn't quite get hold of that one. Screwed it out to backward, where it was more of a wide third man who came in quickly and held it very well. So I parted for 16. Jamin Patel stumped for seven. Lightning reactions from the wicketkeeper. And now we have Wasonga and AJ Hirani trying to rebuild for Kenya. He's hit that one hard. Has he got enough of it? Excellent play. In the end, just a four. He jumped up in the air to prevent the six there in the deep. Managed to get enough of a hand on it to keep it from going for six and becoming a four instead, but not enough to... 14 off 11 now for Wasonga. AJ Hirani looking like the man who could be the one to hit the sixes that Kenya so much need. Great delivery there, coming down towards the commentary box. So let's just... For a second. Just Apologies for the delay. Almost a uh, little chin music through to the keeper. Kenya need more than two a ball now. A real uphill battle for them now. Kogelabano and again, AJ Hirani hits that out to the deep. Is that going to be a catch? No, it's gone in the gap. So Kenya with a much, ne much needed release point there. They needed fours. The pressure just mounting. They still need 79 from 36 balls. That's over two runs a ball. But Hirani out there. Hirani looks to be the man that could go big enough to haul Kenya back into contention. Hit three boundaries already. Strike rate of 158 for his 19. And that is huge from AJ Hirani. In the end, it was almost a catch as the long off fielder came round quickly. Jumped up in the air, he couldn't quite get there. Into all the lime on the serve, he's covered in white now, but boy, was that worth it. Turns four into two. Excellent commitment from the South African. His captain comes in again to bowl to AJ Hirani, who does the same again. This one could be a catch out in the deep. No, it's gone into the gap. Can Grobler get there? He can't get there this time. AJ Hirani has pierced the gap in the field. So now, Kenya have hit 12 of the last three deliveries. AJ Hirani moves on to 31 off field. They'll just get the two there. Not enough though. Kenya need fours and sixes here. 
Irani 33 off 16. Two balls left of Mungru's third over. 14.3 overs, 105 for four, Kenya. Irani hits that hard into the cover gap. There's no one there, so that's four runs all the way. Excellent batting here from AJ Hirani from out of nowhere. Kenya have a glimmer of hope. Big hitting AJ Hirani back on strike now. Kenya really need him to launch again. He's already got one maximum. Five fours as well. Grobler comes around the wicket. Darts that one in and Hirani plays it into the gap on the offside. Beats the cover fielder all the way for four. Excellent batting from AJ Hirani. He moves on to 43 off 19 deliveries. Still got Martin Akoff and Hiran Varaya to come in. They'll be desperate for AJ Hirani to get through to his 50, but that's just a dot ball. This is a good tight over for me and Grobler here. Required run rate rising again. 46 from 21 balls now. Last ball of Grobe is over. Hirani has gone massive. That is a huge six over mid wicket. Into the second floor of the clubhouse. Moves to fast. Fielder picks it up. He's going to have a chance here. It's a good throw in. Not good enough though. Hirani gets the two. He's more than two of all. No. He now needs 24 off eight deliveries. Three runs of ball required. He needs a maximum from somewhere. Is that going to be one? It goes straight down. It's going to long on. He knows he's got to get back. They're running for it just in case there was a mistake. And that's a run out for Hiran Varaya taking one for the team. It doesn't really matter now because it's all about the fours and sixes. <coughs> Irani gets a single there. Second was a run out in this game. When they look down and out, wonderful batting from the Meru Cricket Club player down in Nairobi, where he lives is six hours away from Nairobi. So great to see him drive down to this tournament. He's hit three sixes already and six fours. He needs two or three more of them. And that's relatively big as it gone into the gap. It has, so another four for AJ Hirani. He moves on to 62 of 26 balls. But he needs a maximum from somewhere, 19 off 6.